grow my Instagram from around 1800 actually all the way to um, 11k in less than four months <laughs> Welcome back to my channel it's Lou if you're new welcome to my channel if you guys like what you see which I know you will please make sure you press the subscribe button that's down below as well as the bell notification so you guys are notified every single time that I post a new video now as you guys can tell by this title actually before I start this video this actually is gonna be my second time recording this video um, if you guys didn't watch my try on haul which probably came before or after this but I already recorded this video, but the sound was off. I started using the mic and I, since I wasn't used to using like an external mic, I forgot to actually turn it on, which eventually led to there being no sound in all the three videos that I batch recorded. So this is just one of them I have to record. It is what it is but I did write everything down so I will be touching down all the points but for today's video like I was saying um, the title I'm not sure how I'm gonna title it but it is gonna be all about growing your Instagram following or just bring brand awareness to your business um, not so long ago I when I was vlogging me you know actually growing my business and stuff like that I did mention um, a few times in my vlogs that I actually was you know trying some things trying to you know that will help grow my Instagram and all this extra stuff and that's exactly what I did I was very intentional about like you know growing my business and my brand and stuff like that and now um, a lot of people have been asking me questions a lot meaning like I've been getting a few like DMs and also through my vlog comments and stuff like that so I'm like why not just make a video on it tell you some of the steps that I did that helped me to you know raise my brand awareness and just grow my Instagram following because I know a lot of people have a problem with um you know growing their Instagram and with Instagram changing almost every single day it is a little bit hard for you to keep up but um I am gonna be you know telling you guys a few tips and tricks that I use that helped me to be able to grow my Instagram from around 1800 actually all the way to um 11k in less than four months and if you guys are interested in the tips that I'm gonna be telling you then keep on watching okay so the first thing that I am to um, touch on is just being intentional with what you're doing and that is one thing that I realized that I did do um, if you guys have been following me through my you know growing my business you know journey which I did showcase which was road to 100k which we did surpass woo -woo, earlier than I honestly expected which is crazy to me but um yeah I became very intentional and one of the things that I was being intentional about was growing my Instagram and we all know that when it does come with growing Instagram um it it's a little bit strategic in a sense it's a little strategic it's not something that you just pop something on there and it'll just blow up now in some cases there are some rare cases where you know people just happen to have overnight su um, success but majority of the time that's not how it is so um i really would say make sure that um if you don't believe in you know manifesting and stuff like that just be intentional with exactly what you're trying to do write down your goal like okay i'm trying to reach x amount of um followers by x amount of time and then after that you need to write exactly what am i going to do to be able to you know obtain that goal and please make sure when you do write this goal that it is very realistic don't say you want like a hundred um let me not say 100 i don't want to hear you want 50k by in like two months like i mean granted it might be possible but just be realistic with the goal um that you are setting for yourself okay so, so can... the second thing is actually let me just read it down exactly how i said it which is basically I, I did start posting more frequently and alongside with me posting frequently i actually started posting content that my customers actually wanted to see let's first touch base on actually you know posting frequently now I heard of a lot a lot of people always say post three times a day or post every single day now granted this might work for some this might be very helpful this probably would have helped me during the um, throughout my growing my Instagram um, journey but it's not a practical thing to do um, if you guys don't know like creating Instagram content or just any type of content in general even if it's for YouTube Instagram TikTok, whatever thing you might be on that thing is like a whole separate like job within itself like creating content does take a lot of time um, so people that says 
make sure that you post three times a day that is a little bit um to me it just sounds a little bit ridiculous because like honestly let's talk about myself i do not even have that much content to post like three times in a week let alone me posting um that three batch of content which in that within that one day um that will leave me with no content for me to actually have for the rest of the week so me i i did not personally use the three times a day and honestly i didn't even do the everyday thing i would say that i was in between like the five to six mainly on the five like i would post like throughout the whole week um the weekdays and on the weekends i wouldn't post so something like that or if there's just a certain day that you know i was just not able to post i would not stress about it it just is what it is it was just a day that i was not able to actually post but um like i said i did not follow the everyday thing you don't have to but then again different strokes for different folks it might work for you for me i didn't feel like it was practical and i was not going to be able to keep up with it i feel like i would drive myself crazy and then the second half which is post things that your um, ideal customer customer or audience actually want to see now this also is a little bit tricky which this is something that I also um, this is something that I also touched a little bit on my ebook which is called the hashtag game I will link it down below um, and I actually will answer a few questions um, about what's in the hashtag game um, at the end of this video so if you are interested in that make sure you guys stay tuned to the end of this video and I actually will have a giveaway um, well giveaways for the end of the video so make sure you guys stay tuned for that but um, I actually did touch a little base on that which is you creating content that your ideal customer want to see now this is a little bit tricky because it's it's not a one one-sided thing um, it's not something where you can just look at anybody else's Instagram and you just copy exactly what they do and it works now granted it might work for some but it's not ideal because um, Th that does not mean that that customer or the audience that you already have want to see that type of content so you actually have to like change it up to what you see is working on your page and whatever you see is working on your page that's what you go and um, you basically just run with it and you recreate it if that makes sense so okay um, so this next thing is a very crucial um, mainly because I felt like I had to touch base on this and is um, making sure when you are creating content that you're creating quality content as quality and that's engaging if that makes sense so um, I do get a lot of message of you guys messaging me on my business Instagram asking me to look at your website or look at your Instagram and stuff like that and um, your work might be really good that the case is your work is good but the the way that you guys take the pictures like the content that you guys post on your Instagram is not appealing like it's not something that I would be excited to you know like spend my money on and what we have to think about is a lot of people um, the way that they buy things or follow things um, we're a creature of habit if something looks nice to us especially if you're for me I'm in the hair business so you know I'm more catered towards girls um, females in a sense so I have to make sure that my content looks like you know pretty in a sense like something that looks luxurious and looks very nice that able to grab that female's attention so they can you know actually go ahead and engage with that post which engage can be like it um comment on it save it that's your main goals that you're trying to do so if you're not seeing them doing that that means you just have to up the quality of your content because if it's not good quality where you see hella things in the background um you're seeing stuff all over the floor you're seeing things all over like everywhere now i'm not saying mine's is like 100 percent perfect but majority of the time my content the background is most of the time clear so you can't really see a lot going on um and this can be pretty simple by you just um taking picture um on a blank back wall which is what i do or you can have the grass wall that i see a lot of the girls do or simply you just taking the wig outside and taking pictures of the wigs like things like that like so it can look a little bit more appealing so they can see that it looks a little bit more quality and they'll be in inclined to either like i guess trust you a little bit more or just simply just follow you because they like the um quality of your content okay so, now this next part this kind of goes hand in hand with what i was just speaking about which was creating quality content so your audience can engage with it and alongside with that is to um, actually make a good captions now I know a lot of you guys was like oh I don't like 
I don't spend that much time on my um, captions. I just post whatever or um, I just don't use any type of caption at all. And honestly, you guys, I can attest to actually me growing my Instagram this you actually taking time and you know um sitting there and actually writing good caption is very very important for when you are growing your instagram because you're trying to get more people to engage with your post so by you creating um good captions underneath your picture it will definitely boost up your post even more um now i used to be the type that don't really think too deep about their captions but like i said since i've been going through like the process of testing um out what works and you actually sitting there and actually taking time to you know um write good um captions is very important just make sure that the caption actually makes sense to what you are posting um and the main reason why i feel personally why i feel like captions actually really work really good is because you're able to kind of tell a story through your captions um that's what i personally do i like to tell like little stories through my captions um or if i am just posting like a regular wig clearly i'm not gonna say no story about a a, a wig which you kind of can but it all depends on what type of content you are posting so you know you can actually make sure that the caption that you do right makes sense but i would highly suggest you sit there and actually create better captions when it comes to your um when you do post by you creating better captions um and it makes sure that the captions are engaging make sure that you say oh um what do you guys think what do you guys use like just ask them questions at the end of the caption so they so your audience can feel a little bit more inclined to actually respond in the comments and engage with your post now and the last thing that i would highly highly suggest is to make sure that you are using hashtags now i know hashtags is kind of like a a a hit or miss type of thing and it there's like a controversy with some people that think it works that think it don't work now i can personally attest that from my strategy and from me actually you know using hashtag i can personally say if you use hashtags the correct way they for sure help you bring awareness to your page much better so most of the time when people do say that hashtags do not work it's mainly because they have not tested enough um hashtags and if they do test hashtags it's not the right hashtags for their page or for their content and stuff like that so they do not work that's why they say their captions do not work but i can like i said attest that they actually do work and i honestly tell everybody to make sure that they're using um hashtags and stuff like that towards in the beginning of the video i was telling you guys how how i did write a ebook which is the hashtag game and i literally it's about 20 plus pages it's yeah it's basically 20 plus pages of exactly what i did um how i was able to compile a group of hashtags that actually work that actually um bring awareness to my page that was able to help me grow my instagram from 1800 to all the way to 11k in less than four months um i do go in and i do give you guys hella tips that's also included in the ebook um and i actually go literally step by step i did not miss anything out i wrote down everything that i did all the little steps that i um seen that i did that worked and stuff like that i'll leave the ebook link down in the description bar down below for anybody who is interested in actually purchasing it because i have it available um for anyone who is interested on trying to you know it's about to be the new year's and if you're trying to like you know up your you know instagram following just to you know bring more awareness to your brand and stuff like that i would highly suggest that's uh investment it's not crazy amount of money i did it fairly a fair affordable so people can actually invest in their business to you know um actually help grow their um instagram following and bring awareness to their page because most of the time i do see that a lot of people's content and actually work is really good they just don't have enough eyes on them and that's the funny thing that really is how it is like um it just because you're not getting sales or just because you're not getting um follows and stuff it does not mean that your work is not good or your um work is in quality most of the time it's because not enough people seen it yet you get what i'm saying so um i did realize once my following started growing i started to get more recognition recognition and like i said a lot of other like you could say celebrity stylists have seen and liked my work which is crazy and honestly i can attest to say that most majority of the reason why um they, they were able to see my work was because i was able to use hashtags that actually worked for me to help it grow and bring 
brand awareness to my Instagram account. Now, we come to the end of the video. If you made it this far, thank you for staying this long with me. And now we're able to actually get into the giveaway part. I know I've reached 25K a long time ago. I'm damn near almost close to 26k but um i just been so busy with um doing so many things so it was a little bit hard for me to you know go ahead and um make this video to you know tell you guys exactly what the giveaway winner was going to win now when it comes to my um giveaways i really just like to be a little bit more intentional with what i give away because i know a lot of people that follow me is business it's business owners and stuff like that so um what this giveaway is going to pertain is the hashtag ebook now um you will literally get it for free and literally all you have to do is make sure that you're following my business or my personal instagram account make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel and comment down below what your business is and um what your instagram account is so um and then i'll be able to pick a winner that way so make sure you guys leave those comments down below i actually will be picking three winners three winners to go ahead and send the hashtag ebook to them for free all that information will be linked in the description bar down below like all the directions of um a little bit more clear of what you have to do but literally follow my business and personal instagram um make sure you guys are subscribed and also just comment what your business is and also your business instagram or personal instagram um down below so you guys can be entered into the giveaway um this giveaway will be a week long i'll probably depending on when i post this video i'll probably be choosing a winner on friday or sometime in the weekend again i will leave all that information in the description bar down below the winner will be announced through either the um video and it will be the pinned comment or I will also add it in the community tab on my YouTube channel. So make sure you guys keep a lookout for that. But yeah, like I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. Um, we are about to enter a new year. I'm hoping that we're going to go ahead and hit the um, ground running. And I hope you guys start investing in your business. Please make sure you give it a big fat thumbs up. Um, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you loves in my next video. Bye.